Hey guys, welcome to my new video and this is going to be my tutorial on how to survive the shapeshift tribulation on a Yaogwai, specifically one with a low timer for the shapeshift tribulation. As you can see right here, I'm on day 39 and I completed the shapeshift tribulation with this Yaogwai. So, the way that I was able to do this is that I was able to firstly master key re chi recovery, I was also able to master barrier power, and I was also able to increase their mass key however i wanted to show you guys that you can do this with pretty much any cultivator with any golden core score so i deliberately made sure that they had a really low golden core score quality this is a golden core score of 10,000, which is tier 8 and is very low this cultivator also has a max chi of 15,000, and they have a barrier power of 4.10 so when they face the tribulation cloud the tribulation does takes a damage and so the best thing to do is to reduce the amount of damage that you take from each tick and make it so that your chi is always recovering faster and more powerfully than you are taking damage so to help this cultivator because this cultivator is very low quality i also got this skill called heavenly panacea and i increased my spell power bonus to 1700 and I was able to do that by learning this spell right here, this manual right here, which is Reincarnated Physique. There's also another one called Sunstream Chant, which will increase spell power by a lot, but I was unable to learn that one because I ran out of inspiration. Because I put more of my points into Protect. So, what you need to do is go into Manual Pavilion and learn Chi Recovery Spells, Protect Abilities, and also you want to increase protect by as much as possible after you do that and so besides that you also want to be able to create a T sits dark armor talisman and to unlock the dark armor talisman you need to get the primordial symbols law and I'm going to show you guys how to do that and once you transcribe the law you'll be able to learn one of those law manuals that will allow you to create dark armor talismans which is this one right here and besides that, the secret code as a tie also drastically increases protect. So those are what you need to pass the shapes of tribulation. As you can see, this guy only has 24 chi regeneration per second. And I believe when I ate the spirit stone, stone it went up to about 50 chi regeneration per second, which also isn't that much. So let me show you how drastically the dark armor talisman helps. So it was at 4.10, and then when I toggle this off, it goes down to 1.98 so this is probably like really really important and so to make it to unlock this thesis sacred talisman pretty early you also want to learn soul chant miracle and use this miracle on an animal and your sect and this will still give you the meat from the animal and it will probably give you a serenity soul gem and you need the serenity soul gem to craft sacred talismans because that's in a formula and as far as getting the gold wood for the formula, you, I just trade Mount Tiger Paw. They sell so much gold wood, and then I trade my spirit wood for that. And it's very cheap. So you only need gold wood, a Serenity Soul Gem after learning Soul Chant. And you'll get that once you transcribe all of the five Taiyi laws. And then you just need to mine out a Cinnabar, which is also usually there's at least some Cinnabar around. So you'll always be able to get that T-Sys Talisman. Alright, so I started a new game and I got this new cultivator and got them to Golden Core Breakthrough. So their stats are the following. <coughs> they have 10 Chi Sense. And they have low Con. Con also contributes to Chi Sense. And I was able to get them up to Golden Core Breakthrough by day 11. Okay. But they have 14 days until they do the Shapeshift Tribulation. But it's a good thing that when you adventure with the disciple, you do not lose time to get stronger for the shapeshift tribulation. So basically this timer, this 14 days will not move if they're on an adventure. So that's a crucial part. So in between waiting for the other Taiyi laws, I'm going to go all the way to Sky Dome Palace and unlock the Primordial Symbols Law, which will allow us to use the Dark armor talisman and show you guys how to do that 
And I'm also going to collect some other things that I need to be able to pass the shape shift tribulation. But I can show you guys what it looks like without any of the items. I'm just going to start the shape shift tribulation. So yeah, your guy just dies and becomes a Yaogwai or a demon and then it destroys the sect. All right, so once you get to Skydome Palace, you want to also, in the meantime, figure out what their favorites are. I use a mod to unlock all the favorites for Disciple Leaders. So once you figure out their favorites, you want to gift them one of their favorites. So this person likes umbrellas. So that was the easiest thing that I could make. So I just made them an umbrella. And then I'll gift that, and then that will give me 200 favorites towards their person. So if I go in here and I go to Diplomacy, then I'll see that Skydome Palace now has a uh, neutral favor towards me is zero so that means I can buy access from them so access into a sect on tribulation 9 costs 400 spirit zone so I'll just trade my spirit wood to get access into that sect that means I can actually go and camp and enter into this sect and also to unlock the primordial symbols law you need to have talisman paper equipped so that you can gift it to Hizudao after getting 100 favor with them. And once you do that and gift them the talisman paper or any of their favorites, everyone just does the T1 talisman paper because it's the cheapest to make and you start off with one, they'll just drop you the primordial symbols law. So do not forget to actually equip the talisman paper with your cultivator. So if you'll notice, I actually did get to Skydome Palace, but I forgot to equip the Talisman Paper, so I have to go back to my sect and pick up the Talisman Paper again and then go back to Skydome Palace, which takes a really long time. So I did lose time on that, so don't be like me and remember the Talisman Paper. Alright, so now that we're back in Heaven Stop Peak with Talisman Paper, by the way, and we already bought entry earlier, so I'm going to enter here and then find Hizudao and give them a gift so that we may get a gift back, which is the Primordial Symbols Law. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys are familiar with it, but if you aren't, this is something that you need. You need to be able to make these Dark Armor, armor Talismans. So the first thing you want to do is find Hizudao. She's usually at the top of the selection since she's so popular. And then after you get favor with this person, I use one click favor. I just click this button and it matches out the favor. It's a mod. But if you want to do it the legit way, that's on you. So once you give them that talisman paper, they actually drop down this primordial symbol law, which is exactly what we need. So you want to collect that and then leave the sect. If you're stealing, you can do that and then try to steal. Or if you have over like 10 social, then you can do social. Um, you can talk to people to get friendship manuals by asking them about their favorites twice So I will also recommend that on your way out you take the sage fruit Because you can use the sage fruit to generate more soul gems and It's pretty easy to steal this one. It's pretty much a free item because it's on edge of the map You just have to pick it up and then unhide and leave and I can show you guys how to do it But I'm not sure if I'll get away since this elder is so close. Yeah, I didn't get away, but it's whatever Usually you will wait for that elder to get away first or any of the disciples and then you will pick up that sage fruit. Alright, so I'm back in the sect and I have the primordial symbols law as you can tell. So I'll examine this law right here and it'll pull the law up and it has this core shaping manual which will allow me to create the dark armor talisman which will make my guys tanky. However, I do not have the other Taiyi laws yet because I still have to wait until around day 21 to unlock them. We'll, around day 21, you'll get an event that says return to Taiyi and then you'll have to go to Mount Full Moon and actually trigger the event to unlock the five Taiyi laws, which are these laws right here that I'm missing. So because I don't want my Shapeshift Tribulation timer to go down more I'm just camping at Mount Full Moon and waiting for the event so as you can see this Yaogwai by the way started off with a really low shape shift tri tribulation timer so this is on 14 days and they're a core shaper ready to get to golden core
so then once that secret pops up called return to Taiyi, you'll be I'll show you what it looks like and how you'll receive all those manuals. But once you get all those manuals, you'll want to transcribe all the laws. So I actually have a second inner disciple that I raised up to core shaping because I wanted to help with disciple and I also didn't want to stack up condemnation on my main cultivator by using soul chant on animals because apparently the game doesn't like it when I do that. So once you have all of those laws, you need to build a manual pavilion and then you'll be able to transcribe these laws actually so that any cultivator can learn all of these manuals in each law. And we want some manuals from pretty much every law. So what you do when you transcribe is you go to manual pavilion, click transcribe, click law, and then you choose who you want to transcribe that law. And I would recommend you eat an amber fruit before transcribing the law because the amber fruit will reduce your energy consumption so that you'll have 12 hours where you're not losing energy while you transcribe the law, which is pretty important for disciples of low cultivation level. So for example, I'll have this person, Shi Jia, eat the amber fruit and then start transcribing the law. They're sleeping right now, so I'm going to cancel that. So as you can see, they have 21 energy, which is really low, but the energy bar is not going down because they have the amber fruit. So that's going to allow them to transcribe the law. Otherwise, their energy bar would consistently go down and they would fail to transcribe the law. So then, once you have all of the laws transcribed, you should have six laws transcribed. So it should be primordial symbols, including the five Taiyi laws. And then once you have those laws, you want to learn the manuals that I mentioned earlier on your cultivator. But first you need to get them to Golden Core Breakthrough. We waited until these laws were transcribed to do Golden Core Breakthrough so that we can increase our max key by the maximum value and then start the Golden Core Breakthrough. So what you want to do in Manual Pavilion is search max chi. And you want to learn pretty much all of these manuals except the ones that cost too much so this increases mass chi this increases mass chi this increases mass chi this one increases mass chi but i don't really want to spend 12 attainment for it but i would recommend you do this if you're late game and you have some chi generating through an agency so then once you learn do that you want to um also learn law manuals that will increase stats towards your law to make your golden core breakthrough better but that's also covered in my early golden core score video and then I have our earth flux here so I'll eat the earth flux as well so once you learn all of the increased max chi manuals right you want to do a golden core breakthrough because you need to get the golden core to learn pretty much all of the good chi recovery skills and also you want to equip a talisman to increase your cultivator's mental state I just made a fake story talisman which I didn't equip at this time but you want to also use a story talisman and get to golden core and do that breakthrough so let's just see what golden core score I have so I think this golden core score is going to be good however it's still relevant for the demonstration of showing you how that you can get it minimally because I'm cultivating the wood law and the wood law is all about reincarnation so each step has a reborn stage a sinking stage and a reincarnation stage so at this stage right here which is the first one my cultivator will actually lose stats so it will be equivalent to a bad golden core score so as you can see I lost stats and then they get those stats back at the next stage So as you can see, this guy has 10,000 max chi with a tier 3 golden core as of now and pretty much that's where we're at. Alright, so once you get to golden core stage, you want to learn the two chi recovery skills which are unity chant and chant of the rapids and you also want to increase your barrier power, your spell power and you want to learn heavenly panacea because heavenly panacea is a really good skill for healing so I'll show you what that looks like. So you also want to increase your max chi because there are some max chi increasing abilities that you can learn past once you get to golden core. 
So this will increase my base mass chi. I want that. And then I also want chi recovery, chan of the rat fist, and unity chant. So this was a core shaping skill, which I've already learned earlier. And then I also want to be able to get a spirit contract. So I learned seal contract so that I can kill a frog and get a spirit contract because spirit contracts will also increase your max chi. And then I also want to search up protect in the menu pavilion and learn those skills or, so, or barrier, whatever. Scripture of cloud form is going to increase your barrier power by 20%. I don't want this one because it calls 18 attainment, which is kind of too much for me right now, even though I have an abundance of inspiration from transcribing all of those law manuals. All right, so for the final preparation of the items that we need to safely do the shapes of tribulation is that we need to go into the handicraft station and use two spirit stone to create spirit stone off cut. Because with spirit stone off cut, it has a none element and the shape shift tribulation is using all five elements so you just want to balance out each element and make it so that you're just taking neutral damage because the damage that you take is dependent on the environment that you're around and besides that we also want to get the ruins we want to get the legacy of Taiyi because the legacy of Taiyi is what will get us the secret codex of Taiyi which will increase our barrier power and we also want to kill a monster and use seal contract on it so that we can get that spirit contract so I'll show you guys where the, ruin, the legacy of Taiyi is it's right here left side of the map you just do treasure hunt search it and that's what it looks like so you can only unseal this legacy of Taiyi and get the secret codex of Taiyi once you reach golden core cultivation so it's just very important to get to golden core and late game, once you have all of these things built out, pretty much the only requirement is to get to Golden Core and search up Chi Recovery and increase your Mass Chi and all that other good stuff. But this is just for laying down the foundation for example, the first Shapeshift Tribulation. So when you go in here, you can pretty much use any artifact. I made an artifact out of a brownstone block and pretty much it only has 15 artifact vital power but if you watch any of my other guys you know that I like to steal some pretty strong artifacts and that makes the fight easier but I'm going to show you guys how to fight this monster with such a low artifact battle power ideally you would just equip the secret codex of Taiyi and the dark armor talisman but I'm going to show you guys how to do it even if it's not ideal so you attack the bunny and then you just run around so when they jump to you, you kind of just pause the game and keep moving to different locations, hoping that they lose you. So as you can see, the bunny lost me. So now if I go to this tile, which is like in between, they'll get stuck in the animation where they keep going like up here and then failing to beeline to me. And so that's how I was able to kill them. It took a pretty long time. So I'm just going to end this video here, this part here. But I definitely was able to kill them. So once you kill them, you take this spell and you use it on their dead body and you'll be able to get that spirit contract to have your cultivator get that max chi bonus all right so once you're in the base and you have the secret codex of taiyi as well as the spirit contract you want to use someone to soul chant these animals so that we can get serenity soul gems and create this secret talisman like i said earlier so as you can see, I have a secret talisman getting ready. I bought some gold wood from Mystic Unity Sect. And now it's time for me to get some Serenity Soul Gems. So you just click an animal. And I got an Anguish Soul Gem. The Soul Gem that you get is dependent on the mood of the animal. So it varies. But you can randomly get the Anguish Soul Gem from any mood. So as you can see, I just got a Serenity Soul Gem. So it's pretty easy to make tier 6 talismans in this game as long as you have soul chant and I only needed one of those and then you also want your golden core cultivator to unlock the secret codex the legacy of Taiyi so that you can get the secret codex of Taiyi which will increase your barrier power so 
So then once you have the soul gem, you also want to collect some cinnabar. You can get cinnabar from these rare rocks around here that are around the map. And then someone will create that sacred talisman for you. And as you can see, my disciple has eight days left before the Shasha Tribulation. And they're also at the reborn stage, so that means I can actually get a bigger bonus to their match chi, but I chose not to for the sake of the video. So once that sacred talisman is crafted, you want to draw a dark armor talisman on top of it. So none of these guys have dark armor talisman. So you can just go to the manual pavilion and search dark armor talisman and learn that. All right, so now that I have the Terrace's Dark Armor Talisman, I'll do my checklist and I'll equip it. Once that Dark Armor Talisman is created, and you have to confirm that you have everything equipped. So I have a Dark Armor Talisman equipped. I have the Serial Codex of Taiyi. And then I also have my Heavenly Panacea, my Firestorm that's gonna help me do damage to the Tribulation Cloud. And then I also, you want to make sure that you eat a spirit stone because that's going to increase your chi recovery. So right now my guy has a chi recovery of 129 per second and I'm feeling pretty confident about it. So I'm ready for the shape tri tribulation. And so let's go with that. Oh, I triggered a breakthrough instead. So even though I tri triggered a breakthrough, which actually reduced my max chi, I think I'm still ready for the shapeshift tribulation because these stats are fairly good. So I can probably start this with even half chi and still pass it. So let's do that. Just to show you guys that you don't need a lot of chi. So my cultivator also has 31,000 chi because I equipped this spirit contract which increases my max chi. So yeah, with 100 chi regeneration per second and a barrier power 1.73, I'm not really taking too much damage. And the heavenly panacea is healing me a lot. So the heavenly panacea and the firestorm are a big, uh, big thing. They're a big part of surviving it. The cultivator is pretty much his own healer. So if you guys remember, I actually didn't go to the reborn stage, which would give me more stats. So this is like really handicapped. So if I can do it like this, then you guys should be able to do it with pretty much any cultivator that doesn't have a bad golden core score or yeah, or like a normal golden core score because I did it with a really bad golden core score. And then I also did it with a weakened golden core due to how these wooden breakthroughs work so let me actually break through pass to the reborn stage and show you guys what that looks like okay so when I, once I broke through my max chi doubled and I got all of these stats back so that would have doubled my chi regeneration which would have made it significantly more easier and my spells also got stronger so that's pretty much where I was at and that's where I got with the handicap and I can also show you guys how much chi the spirit contract gives you once you're a golden core. So I have 44k and this gives me like 200% max chi or I forget how much percent it is actually so don't quote me on that but it's on a wiki. They all give you a max chi bonus it doesn't have to be the frog one so you just need one. So I went from 44,000 to 60,000 so that's pretty useful. And that's pretty much it. That's how you survive the shape shift tribulation. So just remember, dark armor talisman, tier assist or higher. If you have enough mass chi to increase the level of the talisman paper, then do that. Secret code of Taiyi, you need that. And then you want these chi recovery manuals, chant of the rapids and unity chant. And then you want these manuals to increase your fire power so increase your spell power and then also he heavenly panacea to heal you and then be sure to eat the spirit stone before you start the 
breakthrough because the spirit stone is also going to increase your chi recovery and that's pretty much it i'm going to show you guys how it's supposed to look from a conventional standpoint once you have everything set up so this is my older set is day 50 in i don't really worry about shape shift tribulation but okay let's look at this cultivator oh no we have a 39 day shape shift tri tribulation well look at them they have a nice golden core score they have a chi regeneration of 311 per second but their barrier power is low what do we do we look for the secret code of the taiyi we look for the dark armor talisman so let's re see which cultivator that was that was heaven too so let's give them a dark armor talisman let's look for their code that said taiyi it's on heaven three So let's give this guy that code as a Taiyi. Their chi regeneration is already really good. Their barrier power is now at 1.84. So let's also make sure that the Dark Armor Talisman was equipped. Nope, they didn't equip the Dark Armor Talisman yet. Okay, so let's click on the Dark Armor Talisman. Boom. Now they have a barrier power of. 1.82 wow now we check their artifact battle power 951 and their capacity is pretty high and their recovery is not really good so what we do is we take off the artifact and then we just trigger the shape of tribulation and you know it's going to pass you don't even need to create that none element floor in this case you don't even need spells just need to start the tribulation this guy is a primordial spirit so their stats are a little bit higher but this is how simple it should be you should go into the manual pavilion learn the manuals you know and just figure out what you need for the tribulation and do it accordingly so yeah that's pretty much it and that's how easy it should be thank you for watching my video